you. If you want to check out who they are, they're in here, <laughs> pretending not to listen. But even more exciting than the awesome comics, we actually have some celebrities here tonight. Look at you guys looking around. <laughs> I wonder who's talking about. I wonder who's about. I'll tell you. Put your hands together for the biggest star to ever make it out of the shithole that is Kansas City. Brad Calvert is here. Can you hear Brad Calvert? Brad, I'm going to be honest, this is the first time I've ever seen you with no dip in your cheek and not wearing sunglasses. Are you feeling okay? You sure? Yeah. Okay. I got my sunglasses in the car though. Okay. All right. Well, let's get this guy some Copenhagen or something because I'm a little worried about him with it with no dip. Um, I knew I was going to be in friends with Brad right away when he showed up at practice one day wearing a t-shirt that simply said, I farted. <laughs> True story, by the way. Not making that up. Also here, this guy I'm very excited about. Probably the most excited I've ever been. Put your hands together for Tecate Beer's most popular brand, Ambassador Coach Tovar. <laughs> What's up, Uncle Toby? Are you feeling alive? Because everybody in this room loves you, man. Seriously. I know, I know that. No, I'm going to give you a hug. I do have some unfortunate news to share with you, though, Uncle Toby, and that is the show tonight is in the English language. Okay, there's no Eugenio Derbez tonight, okay? No Gabriel Iglesias. But I will be putting up some Spanish subtitles and post captions up here throughout the night, so try to follow along. <laughs> this is interesting. Um, not a lot of people here, but uh, it's a nice intimate crowd. Uh, I know pretty much all of you. It's almost like this is a comedy show. It's like more, it feels like an intervention. Like, are you guys... <laughs> Jay, we're here to talk to you about your alcoholism and your cannabis issues and your anger management issues. And you're also uh, receding a little bit in the corners. Have you ever thought of using Rogan in Jay? That part was not necessary. Um, you're just being mean at that point. <laughs> Guys, I'm in the Writers Guild, uh, so I'm uh, technically on strike. So tonight's jokes are brought to you by ChatGPT. <laughs> So if you don't like them, you can blame our robot overlords. This guy's already on his phone. He already ordered. He's on his phone already. Who are you possibly texting two minutes into my set, sir? Am I doing that badly? It's okay. It's fine. Lakers down three. Oh, Lakers down three. Okay. Is this this is the kind of night it's going to be, huh? That's okay. It's fine. It's cash. It's cash. So the Writers Guild actually. Um, told all us writers informally uh, to cut ties with Netflix, to cancel on Netflix, you know, just show solidarity, so I did. And it really upset the 93 people who got my login. <laughs> Chat GPT wrote that, guys. So I just want to throw this out there. I identify as a cisgender. But my second marriage is going well, and uh, I think it's because we spice it up from time to time. We were at a bar in San Diego about a month ago, and my wife's like, oh my god, let's pretend that we don't know each other. And I was like, oh, spicy. <laughs> so we separated her, and then after about a minute, I found her, and I was like, hey girl, are you single? And right on the word single, a little bit of macaroni salad that I just dropped down, ejected out of my mouth in a tight spiral and landed right at the tip of her nose. She looked at me and goes, sorry, I'm married. <laughs> that took a minute. <laughs> so technically, I'm a little... <laughs> What's your story? Single too? No, no, it's, it's getting better already. 
we were just in uh, Cabo, Mexico, uh, got back last night at midnight. I was there with my wife and my five-year-old and my in-laws. And um, two nights ago, we were out for dinner, and my wife's mom, my, my wife's mom, my mom-in-law dropped the bombshell that my wife is, she had no idea, 116th black, 116th African-American. Oh, I'm not going to do jokes about it. I'm not crazy. I don't want to get hit. <laughs> I'm going to start a race for You know what, though? I guess, I guess I will say this because it's not really a joke. It's more just something I feel. So I think it's okay. Um, and that is, everybody in this room, we all live in LA, right? So LA is expensive. So I guess I'm hoping that we can get on the reparations train Two? Mm. Now? Because mm -hmm. one sixteenth of one point eight million dollars is a lot of money. <laughs> I'm wondering, like, with my wife's new um, diverse heritage, like, when we go to movies, like, is she just gonna start like screaming at the the screen? Like, you know, is that gonna happen? <laughs> and does it spread to me, like, am I allowed to say things like she? Now? From your reaction, the answer is no. <laughs> Duly noted. Uh, one of the days in Cabo, our five-year-old was acting like a real black, like picture Donald Trump Jr. as a kid, and like multiply by thousand. And so my, my wife was like, to punish him, I'm taking away his iPad. I was like, what? That punishes me. I have to spend time with him. Let me handle this. So I walked in his room, gave him his iPad, and I was like, you're on that thing for the next 24 hours. Don't even think of looking up from it. That's the end of life. So you said you were single. How long are you single? <laughs> Not a trick question. Just uh, two years? Okay. Let's table that. We'll come back to it. Um, what was I? What was I talking about before you distracted me with your gorgeous looks? What was I talking about? Neglecting my child. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> um, so sometimes I catch myself just staring at my five year old for minutes on end because he looks nothing like me. Not my facial structure, not my eyes. Not my nose, nada. And how do I say this? He's hung like a horse. <laughs> and, I'm, thank you, Adam. and I'm conflicted about it. Because on the one hand, there is a chance that my wife had an affair in her life six years ago. But on the other hand, this kid is so cute, he's a real looker, that when I hang out with him, it reflects well on me. You see my conflict? So, I think where I kind of net-net at the end of the day is, to whoever banged my life, I salute you. <laughs> you did well. You made a gorgeous looking kid. And if you were in this room, I'd probably shake your hand. You goddamn <laughs> bastard, he looks exactly like you, my motherfucker. I knew I didn't like you. He actually does have to come. The other problem with our five-year-old is, um, I don't know why I'm doing this. Um, he sleeps in between us in our bed, literally separating me from my wife. He's five. It's a little late for that, right? The other night, you shaking your head now? Do you go to sleep? Yeah. Um, the way you put that is um, kind of sad. <laughs> Are you happy right now? Wow, it's just like a, sort of a single ladies night kind of thing going on tonight. It's going to be going better later, I'll tell you that much. Um, thanks for coming. You made me lose my train of thought because now I'm thinking of a threesome and uh, literally talking about the drug I was talking about. What the fuck was I talking about? Oh, yeah. 
So, <laughs> me and my wife have a five-year-old, and he sleeps in between us, and he's literally separating me from her. And the other night, um, you gonna do that again? Or, um, the other night, he rolls over, of course, he was spooning her, and I had no covers. <laughs> Freezing. And he turns over and he looks at me and he goes, one day, Daddy, I'm gonna marry Mommy. And I was like, too late, beat you to the punch. He started crying. I went and slept on the couch and I wanted to be there a long time. I actually told him tonight that I was coming here to do this show and he asked me if I would do one of his jokes. He, he writes jokes. Is that cool to you guys? Why the chicken cross the road? Because he farted. <laughs> good night, everybody. Uh, no, no, I'm just kidding about the good night part. I've got one more, one more little, little bit. And then the three of us are gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> um, so I also have a 12 year old, a lot of you guys in this room know him, AJ. And when he was younger, my second son, when he was five or six, he went through this very funny phase where he was like, I don't want to watch any kids' movies. I want to watch the movies that daddy watches. I want to watch R-rated movies. And I was like, he was relentless about it. And finally I gave in, but I gave in in a way that would teach him a lesson. I said, all right, come here, Andrew. Come on up on the couch, bring your popcorn. We're going to watch a hilarious R-rated movie all about camp. Schindler's List. <laughs> And that was pretty much that. <laughs> Problem solved. <laughs> I picked up uh, AJ at school last week from a class he was taking um, called Human Development. I'm sure some of your kids are in a class you know, with a similar title, Human Development, which is really just the modern woke uh, description for what it was called when I was there, right? Sex Ed. By the way, when I first heard of Sex Ed when I was a youngster, I thought it referred to a dude named Ed who got a lot of pussy. <laughs> but back to AJ. <laughs> He's definitely uh, exploring himself and going through it right now. I know this <laughs> because he, he took me aside after one of these human development classes. Oh, yeah. Oh, he did not want to talk to me. <laughs> <laughs> cool, my <laughs> And um, he, uh, he took me aside. Actually, he almost took me aside. Guys, how do you guys like my TED talk? <laughs> um, so he took me aside and he said, Dad, is it normal to watch midget milk porn? <laughs> 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 and I thought to myself, thank you. I thought to myself, this is a real teachable moment. So I brought AJ over and I said, son, they prefer little people. <laughs> and watch as much as you want. You guys ready to keep the show going? Yeah. Are you having fun so far? Please come take with lots of beer and wine and all kinds of stuff, okay? Make sure you, uh, you hit the bar. Also, one little reminder that if you didn't um, Venmo a lot, uh, please remember to do so before you leave. Okay, that's my little public service answer. All right, guys, come into the stage. I love this guy. He performs all over California. He's got not one, but two of his own. Anyone here uh, a middle child, perhaps? Hi. Yeah, little children. Uh, do you have sisters? Two brothers. All right. Uh, anyone else have sisters? Cool. How do you feel about your sisters? You love your sisters. All right. I'm a little child between two girls, and sisters are terrible people. Just terrible people. If you have a sister, after this, call her up and just be like, "Hey, sis, what, bitch? Hang on. That's all you have to. That's all you have to do." And I think I don't like my sisters because the way like I grew up, you know, as a middle child between them, and just the way my parents treated me differently compared to my sisters. You know, on the way to a camping trip, my parents left me a rest stop. 
Not for like minutes, but for like hours. For like a long time. No, they, they came back. My parents came back. Um, and then they showed up and they're like, well, hey, I'm like, what would I have done? They're like, well, we would have been normal camping. You would have been extreme camping. <laughs> <laughs> Get ready for the water, you know what I mean? Uh, but that wasn't the worst part. What I really didn't like is when I got back in the car, is that both my sisters had ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> they both had ice cream. And I'm like, oh, you have ice cream. When did you get that? They're like, oh, on the way back to get you. <laughs> you know what that means? They didn't, they didn't stop for ice cream and go, where's Cameron? <laughs> it means they stopped and went, where's Cameron? Yeah. And then on the way back, my sisters were like, we want a delicious treat. <laughs> my parents were like, okay. And then I'm in the car, I'm like, can I get some ice cream? We're going in the same direction. They're like, we don't have time for you. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have any time for that. But no, it's just like this, like little, little things. Like, uh, like when I was a kid, my big sister hit me in the head with a baseball bat. My parents were getting angry. They're just like, she's going far in softball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's just like like little things. Also, I used to play a game with uh, my dad called Jump Off the Truck. <laughs> uh, and I just remember I was jumping off the truck and my dad was catching me. He was like, oh, that's a lot of fun. Woohoo. And then um, I just hear in the background, I'm like, Daddy, we need you. And he like left. But I didn't know we were done playing the game, so I still jumped off the truck. <laughs> and that's how I got here. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, it's always, it's always how they like, you know, they treat you. And, and sisters, as I said, they're terrible people, not good people. And like every holiday, every Christmas, every Thanksgiving, it doesn't matter what it is, my sisters bring a laundry list of everything my parents did wrong. They make them cry every holiday. And so my parents started looking at me. I was like, hey, you're gonna take care of us when you're older. You're gonna put us in a nursing home or your home. And I decided on that day to leave them at a rest stop. <laughs> <laughs> and now they're gonna be old. And they're gonna be down there and they're gonna be like, what's this? I'm gonna say, extreme nursing home. <laughs> yeah, we're all, having a, we're all having a drink tonight. We're all having a couple drinks, yeah. <laughs> Woo! Oh my goodness, like, I like drinking. I like drinking a little bit uh, too much sometimes. Um, and especially, like, it's different now because I have, I'm from a small town where you graduate high school, you become an alcoholic. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like I'm from that place. I'm from a tiny island town. You know what I mean? And now I'm in LA and I have new friends. New, you guys look like my new healthy friends. Like, you know, like they stopped inviting me to parties. And I'm like, why did you guys stop inviting me to parties? That hurts my feelings. They're like, last time you cried. I'm like, well, that bad, that bad, was it? And I'm like, well, you cried in a red solo cup. Ask them to drink it so your tears wouldn't be wasted. <laughs> That's not like, like I, like, I miss my old friends sometimes. You know what I mean? Like those idiots. Oh, so good. I miss them. But they start getting DUIs. They start getting a ton of DUIs. And it became like a little competition to see who wouldn't get a DUI. And I won. I didn't get a DUI. You know what my grand prize was? I had to drive all of them around for years. <laughs> Terrible. But I love drinking. I love drinking a little bit too much. Like, I love that miscommunication. You know, when you're out at the bar and you're home and you're like, hey, go talk to that girl. And you're like, yeah. And you're like, hello. She goes, hi. And you walk away. I love that. And you go back to your bros and you're like, what happened? And you're like, she didn't like John Cena. I'm out. Like, that's. <laughs> like, I love that. Like, oh my goodness. I walked into a party one time and I saw all these hot girls doing like body shots off each other. Just, like, just liquor everywhere, just out of belly buttons. I was like, I want to do that off one of them. That looks like so much fun. And I walked up to a girl and I was like, can I do a body shot off you? And she just heard me and she was like, you want me to do a body shot off you? And I went with this, I was like, yeah. <laughs> and so I did, it was good, good for her. Like I just pulled my shirt, just like vodka and belly buttons, just like a mixed cocktail going on, you know what I mean? So we pour it all in. To her credit, you know, she takes it, she does the belly shot. She gets up, she smiles, all her friends go, oh. she has all my hair in her back and their teeth, guys. <laughs> Absolutely disgusting. Nah, but like, like that's how like, I miss drinking, I miss that. That's the end of that joke, that's okay. We're done with that. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. We're like, thank God. Oh, <laughs> nah, man, but uh, we're celebrating uh, Little League sports. Yeah. yeah. Because uh, <laughs> we established earlier, I like to cry. I'm just crying the outfield. Like, that's, 
That's all I would do. And uh, I wish I stayed in sports a little bit longer. Keep your kid in sports, because uh, I thought music would be cool. And I was like, I'll be a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm not a very musically talented person, much less, uh, like, I don't know how to rhyme words, so I was a terrible rapper. <laughs> Also, I don't do drugs. Like, I don't do drugs, you know what I mean? So I was like the dare rapper. <laughs> I just, like, that's not cool. Like, that's not hard. I just rapped about not doing drugs. I thought that'd be cool. <laughs> like, and, like, I, here's some lyrics I wrote. Uh, don't need trippin', cause good times I'm rippin'. Oh. <laughs> How lame is that? That's so lame. Like I thought I could rap. Like don't don't be a rapper. Like cause like like keep your kids like in sport. Cause like I thought like I didn't even understand music in a way. Cause I would listen to all these Christian rock bands, and I would be like, oh that's so cool. They're talking about like the blood. It turns out they're talking about like the blood of Jesus Christ. But I was like, yeah, pure kid sex. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> like that was me. Oh my god, guys, I got the line. My name's Karen Bottle. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Keep it going for camera, guys. Come on. The middle of ice. The middle of ice, too. Alright, guys. Get ready. Get ready for your next performance. Okay? She's awesome. She performs all over the country. She's a national headliner. We've seen her on America's Got Talent. Bunch of other shows. Joy Miller. So first we're going to talk about teamwork. <laughs> Thank you to the people that realize that we are in an office. Because we're going to play some improv games, okay? You know, I need a place, I need a location, a gorgeous office that no one's using. In a random domain. Who lives here? I want to live here. I want to like move <laughs> in. Don't you like really special? Like I want to live here, right? Like that's the big kitchen. This will be the master bedroom. I'm up there. It'll just be all the guys that I want to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I got you. This is my fucking room. This is it. This is you. Maybe you're fucking adorable. Like I'm gonna match it together. I'm gonna put it on. Make these sneakers pop. Love it. Where are these people? Fuck them, right? <laughs> Popcorn, it's good, it's spread is amazing. Like, what the fuck is this office doing here? Nobody's working here. I just, I need to be here. I don't think anybody would know if I just moved in, right? Like, I don't think anyone, me and my cats, I think we'd be good, right? Let's do it. Just happy to be out of the house. I have a two-year-old at home. Okay, you guys know, right? You know, obviously the parents, toddlers. Trying to potty train her, although she really enjoys shitting in public, so I don't want to take that away from her. Because we all know as girls get older, we don't want to shit in public, and she loves it so much, she prefers it. We'll be at home all day and nothing in the diaper. The second we walk out somewhere nice to a restaurant, she just stops, and then you just know she's doing it. It's like she feels it, it makes her want to go. It started around Easter, she was dressed up, we went on an Easter egg hunt, and everybody was reaching for eggs, and she froze. She did that like weird freeze, like when somebody freezes on a Zoom. And everybody else is still moving, and you don't know, like, are they frozen or am I frozen? Like, you know, that looks like me. Are you going to around and that, right? And then everybody was like, is she okay? I'm like, she's shitting. She's shitting her ass. <laughs> watch. Watch as the lamb costume gets fuller at the bottom. Watch that happen. And then it did, and then just like that, she grabbed the eggs and ran. She my fucking girl. She had no shame to her game. I don't want her to lose that. I don't want her to ever lose that. She's two, she's two years old, and I haven't lost all the baby weight, which is really annoying because she's adopted. <laughs> Pregnancy was great though, I drank all the way through it. Um, so I was actually doing shrooms the day she was born, I highly recommend it. I have to recommend doing shrooms, like, as an older human being to begin with. Like, I think shrooms are wasted on 20 something girls. We appreciate it now. I started doing a lot more hallucinogenics during the, like, lockdown. And it was life changing. I'd be like, oh my god, are we in a pandemic or are we the pandemic? <laughs> Is that true talking to me? <laughs> I'm not doing that much anymore, but there we go. She's adopted. I became an overnight mom, it doesn't usually happen that way. I get a call from my lawyer 
It was like the baby was born, you were selected, you need to get on a plane tomorrow in the middle of a pandemic and go to Kentucky. And that was the most traumatic thing about the whole experience. <laughs> Coming to fucking Kentucky. <laughs> My daughter was preemie, she came six weeks early, so I had to spend some time there. Everybody was great. The nurses were also amazed at how perfectly round our head is. Apparently that's a thing. I didn't know that, but like, your daughter's head is so round. It's so round. It is the roundest head we've ever seen in this hospital. I'm like, well, who the fuck are you treating here? <laughs> like a bunch of cone heads? What the fuck is happening? They're like, no, when the baby comes out of that birth canal, that head's pulled like an egg, but your daughter's head is round. <laughs> and I found out this was the birth mother's 13th pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, 13th. I'm like, of course her head is round. She fucking walked out of that pregnancy. <laughs> I think she came six weeks early because she wanted to get the fuck out of Kentucky. That's what I think. Anyone else? She was probably like, oh, is that the guy from LA? I'm out of here. I just go. She clucked right out. I'm already walking. Let's do this shit. <laughs> the birth mother named my daughter. We have an open adoption. I didn't know this because everything on the paperwork just said baby girl in her last name. But when I got to the hospital, the nurses had decorated. Like the room that she was staying in with the name that the birth mother had given her, which was Harmony. Do you hear that echo? That's how I feel. I say that, <laughs> I say that name. Harmony, that was her name. And you could tell all the nurses were dying to know what I was going to do. They're like, you going to keep it? <laughs> and keep that name, Harmony? <laughs> Come on, I would rather keep Baby Girl. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather my daughter be named Baby Girl than Harmony. And no offense to any harmonies out there, melodies, crescendos, I love music. I do. Okay. <laughs> Birth mother did drugs during the pregnancy. Uh, so my daughter was born with a meth in her system. She's 100% healthy. And the best part about that is that like, now I don't have to have an uncomfortable drug talk with her when she goes to high school. <laughs> She's already kicked that nasty habit. We're good to go. <laughs> I feel like that does give me bragging rights, right? It does, because everybody loves to brag about their kids on social media. You guys know your parents. You see it all the time. Your kids like, look at my little girl. She knows how to walk. She knows how to talk. She knows where her head is. I'm like, my daughter kicked meth, bitch. I win. <laughs> she just got a two-year chip, so you don't fuck yourself. <laughs> Just unplug it and put it back in, right? It's usually the advice I get. That's a big deal. Everybody does love to brag about it, but my daughter had all her milestones. milestones. I was never concerned. When she got her first tooth, I thought to myself, wow, she officially has more teeth than her birth mom. <laughs> she did walk a little bit later, which wasn't a big deal. Those of you kids, you know your kid does everything in their own time. If they're physically capable of walking, they will do it. It's not something extra that you decide you're going to learn. Do you know what I mean? If you can do it, you'll do it. But everybody else is like, are you concerned? I'm like, no, she, she'll do it in her own time. Think about it. Have you ever met an adult that's like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck, I just never learned how to walk. I just... I mean, I couldn't find the time. My parents couldn't afford the lessons. So I just crawl everywhere. We're good. Even the dumbest person you know knows how to walk. She figured it out. Uh, she's gorgeous. She's gorgeous. And I can say that because I didn't make her, I bought her. <laughs> like if you had a kid, sir, and it was ugly, it'd be your fault. It's a fact. There's nothing you can do about that. Your genes, it's what happens. But when you adopt, you don't know what you're going to get. And you love them no matter what. So I was prepared, flying out to Kentucky. I was like, look, if she's ugly, I'm just going to lean into it. And be like, she's ugly, cute. Oh, my God. She's quirky. We live in Silver Lake. Oh, my God. But I didn't have to. She's fucking gorgeous. She's a hot, hot baby. And that's the most important thing. So she's actually a toddler. She's a hot toddler. She's a hot toddy. Is what I meant to call her. <laughs> she talks a lot, so she's talking so much now. 
really frightening. <laughs> she talks a lot in the middle of the night, and that's why I know, like, I know now why they use toddlers for horror movies, because they're fucking terrifying. <laughs> terrifying little creatures. I went to the bathroom the other night at like four in the morning, and from her room, which is all the way down the hall, all I heard was, <laughs> You hear someone giggle at four in the morning while you're peeing? If you're pissed, we'll stop. It will just stop. You don't have to do anything. Your body's like, absolutely not. No. It goes into fight or flight mode. And then I heard her go, hi. I said, fuck it. I didn't pull my underwear up. I mean, it's all in bed. Who is she talking to? Why? Because she literally was in her room. Her first word was dada, which I think is a lot of kids for the word dada. It was really cute. And hilarious because I'm single. <laughs> Mother mystery of life that she said. I, it used to be really cute and now it's really annoying because she sounds like she's taunting me every day. She's just like dada. Dada, 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 dada. I'm like, I'm trying, bitch. Okay? <laughs> Did you know it's hard to date in LA, okay? I want a dad dad too. Get your hot toddler ass out there and trap me a man. Do your fucking job. So that's why I got you. I'm just kidding. I got I'm running out of material. I'm being honest. It's actually her name, new material. But I landed on it. I could never run out of material uh, because I am still single. <laughs> Ladies, I don't know if you know this, but if you are still single and in your 40s, it's your fault. Hey, that's a fun fact. But I was single in my 20s, it was never a big deal. In fact, people were like, oh my god, don't even sweat it. Date everyone, have fun, live your life. And when I was single in my 30s, I was like, well, you're doing the work, you made a vision board, I don't know. <laughs> Now that I'm saying I'm like 40s, everyone's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Stop mouth kissing your cat and get married in. My cat is also very attractive. I have a cat too. Everybody in my house is very attractive. Very attractive. I'm on the dating apps. Disgusting. They're all gross. So gross. Being on a dating app over 40 was like shopping at Marshalls. It's like, you know, you get home, you put it on, and of course the zipper's broken. <laughs> but then you think to yourself, I can fix that. I can't, I never fix it. <laughs> Getting older, it's such a mindfuck, and it's such a weird, crazy transition from being referred to as a miss to being called a man. I'd rather call a whore than a man. <laughs> and anyway, every woman in here agrees with me. They might not admit it, but we all hear. They'll admit it, we're all fucking. It's the worst thing. I'm not in the military. Unless we're in the military, don't call me a fucking man, okay? The first time you hear it, too, it's so jarring. You think you look great. You're just walking out, someone's like, ma'am, can I help you buy something? It's like somebody just punched you right in the vagina. Like, I'm never fucking this again. That's what they're saying. Why did you just say that to me? It's just like so damaging. <laughs> There's a lot of great things though about getting older. Like I like to play games. The game that I play now is, am I done peeing? <laughs> play that game every day. I played it this morning, and guess what? I was not, I was not done peeing. Ladder one, <laughs> Jody zero. Uh, yeah, it's a weird thing, every time I look in the mirror, you're like, what, how did this happen? Every time I take my clothes off, I'm like, whose body is that? Like, how did my mother's body literally get on top of my body? It doesn't happen. It just happens. I remember being in high school and seeing my mom changing and thinking, why is her ass dragging across the floor? <laughs> what an unfortunate body type. And what happened? She turned 40. That's what happened. So I don't work out like every day. My mom was like, fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> like, I truly believe that my ass and my face are in a competition to seeing it to the ground first. <laughs> they have like a secret bet going on. And my ass is what I mean. Like, you don't know this enough, but I used to have a thigh, and I used to have an ass, and now I have a fat ass. That's what it is. <laughs> They've just joined forces right here, and the pandemic sealed its fate. <laughs> it was like, one day my ass was like, you know what? I'm exhausted. And the doctor was like, well, you can rest here. <laughs> Guys used to be like, don't oh, your ass is so tight. And now they're going to be like, oh, your ass is so continuous. There it is. Oh, yeah. 
It's so funny, when I, walk, when I started walking up here, my watch was like, great work, you're moving again. <laughs> not a fun fucking thing to wear? Your watch is like, you're not a corpse, good for you. <laughs> Fuck it, I need one more thing telling me I should exercise. Listen, I'm in my late 40s. I, I'm never gonna like exercising. I don't like it. I do it grudgingly, I hate it, I do it all in my 30s, and I hate the people that are like, you're gonna love it, the more you do it, you're gonna love it. You go fuck yourself, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't. I do it so that I'm just not a beach whale. Well. Like I don't, and I don't die from heart disease. Other than that, I hate it. Like I hate people that are like, you know, but when you work out, it releases endorphins and serotonin. Like so does masturbation <laughs> and eating Oreo cake scoops. <laughs> that takes like about three minutes. Like the only thing I like about working out is when it's done, and then I like telling people that I worked out <laughs> all the time. Don't you love that feeling? Like oh, my legs are burning. I worked out hard today. Like, I'll do that all week. I'll work out Monday and I'll do it all the way to Friday. Like, you're just like, oh, I can't sit down. I did a hard workout last week. It's just really. That's a new joke. People just work out. I get a lot of shit done in my face. My face with my scarf, my face. My face is like my mom is filling and freeze it. Like, stick all the needles in there if you have to. I love it. I have so much Botox on my neck. I can't swallow correctly. And I'm okay with that. Because if I'm being honest, I swallow you now, okay? <laughs> Women don't like to talk about it. They don't like to talk about it. I'd love to share that shit. Seriously, if you do something that makes you feel good, you should share it, at least with your friends. Because celebrities lie about it all day long, setting up unrealistic expectations. You ask a celebrity, oh my god, you look so good. What's your secret? She'll be like, I cut cinnamon out of my diet. <laughs> Like, I'm honest. You ask me, I'm like, that so good. What's your secret? I will tell you. I get Botox and fillers, and I was fucking a 27 year old and slowly drinking his youth. <laughs> <laughs> I ended it with a 27 year old, because obviously he turned 28. Disgusting. <laughs> so gross, I can't get anything from me. All my friends that are my age are all married and are with kids as well, so they're all at like various stages of giving up. <laughs> so it's hard to get advice from them. It's always been hard to get advice from them. I mean, now that my parents are a little bit easier, but it's still hard. I remember my one time I was like, Jody, I stopped shaving years ago. Like, I let it all grow together like a body snuggie. <laughs> like, I can't do that because I am still single. I have to trap a husband. <laughs> I mean, find a father. You know what I mean? So I gotta like clean some shit up. So all my friends that are younger are like, well then you have to wax it, shave it, rip it, burn it, mow it, thread it, pull it off, pluck it off, take tweezers, get it, throw acid on it if you have to. Make sure that this is like, you can't have any hair. I don't know, when did that start and why is this still a thing? It way to have no hair from here down, like nothing, ever, absolutely not. I'm like, I can't do that. Like I have to leave a little bit of hair down there so everybody knows the 80s were here. <laughs> Thank you, my 80s fans. <laughs> I realize there are two different types of women out there, women that watch The Real Housewives and women that watch true crime and serial killer documentaries. Where are my serial killer girls at? Yeah, be proud of me. Don't, no, we don't, we're not going to convict you of a crime. We don't think that you've actually killed someone. I love it. I've got these are the shows you should, these are the girls you should be with. Because honestly, women that watch these shows, we just appreciate the little things. We're just grateful for what we have, right? Now the women that watch The Real Housewives, are, are, they're fine. But they love drama. They say they don't, but they do. And they secretly imagine what their lives would be like if they had all that money. But us girls that watch the serial killer documentaries are really grateful for what we have because we now fucked up our lives. Good gift. <laughs> right? Oh, you're having a bad day? Well, at least you're not fucking drunk, right? Did your boyfriend break up? You just be grateful that you carved his name in your torso. You did it just fine. Go get your service dog and take his annex like the rest of us. Yeah, your service dog. Service dogs are back. They're all black, they're everywhere. I'm sorry, it's 2023. I love all animals, but not every dog is a service dog. <laughs> it's not. Unless your dog shifts insulin, it's not a service dog. And if you're not laughing right now, you have a very small dog at home wearing a sweater because it's getting slightly dry out. <laughs> Shaking, wondering why the fuck you didn't take him to an abandoned office to watch comedy. <laughs> and unfortunately, the dog is like, where did she ever lose an archie? <laughs> That's my emotional support dog. The dog's always like a small, tiny dog, just like shaking uncontrollably. <laughs> <stuff. laughs> That's my emotional support dog. I'm like, where the fuck is his emotional support dog? So you're gonna shit the small dog out? Because I won't see that. You know why those dogs are shaking? They're shaking because they never wanted that child. They don't know how to be an emotional support dog. 
They just wanted to be adopted, but then you put your bullshit in day in and day out, and now they're one bark away from shoving you out. That's it. That's it. Did she just get a text from her ex? She's gonna fry it on my head. Am I good? Are you ready for I was just about to. Okay, all right, all right, that's fine. My daughter had a nice picture. She didn't take care of her a while. I went to pick her up the other day, and I was looking at some of the names. There's a kid in her class called Zanzibar. That's the name. <laughs> Zanzibar. Fucking Zanzibar. <laughs> like, it's getting ridiculous. But, like, then you have to, like, think. I'm sure our parents or grandparents were shocked at our names. They were in here. Like, my grandmother's name is Latilly and Gertrude. Hot, right? <laughs> I'm sure when I was born, they were like, Jody, what the fuck is that? What kind of name is that? Jennifer, that's crazy. Karen, we all know how that turned out. <laughs> then it went to the Madisons and the Ashleys and the Tiffany's and then the Taylors and the Chases, and now it's fucking at Zanzibar. <laughs> like, what is it gonna be when my daughter gets older? It's just gonna be like strange noises and so calls. Like, <laughs> that's my daughter. <laughs> And t -t 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 -t. it's actually pronounced t -t -t -t. T -t -t. <laughs> when I got my two cats, my daughter was a year old, and everyone's like, you should let your daughter name the cats because they're her cats. So my daughter's, I mean, my cat's name is, I'm sorry. My cat's names are. And pronounced. That was the joke I was gonna do on, but it is not. Good night, guys. You guys are gonna be Keep the door for the How hilarious is she? How about the two of you and me and Jody get a bar after this? Are we in? It sounded good when I said it. I don't think it's going to happen. All right, guys, let's keep the show going. You guys ready? Are we having fun? Are we eating? Are we drinking? All right, guys. Up. Up. Slap it. Up. Shake it. Slap it. Check, check. That's your fault. Okay, woo, that was a close one. All right, guys. Your next performer is a good friend of mine, also a national headliner comedian who performs all over the place. He just got back from a USO tour of Southeast Asia. I love him. Darren Capozzi! Are you a dad? Are you a, 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 a blind? 
baseball team? Are we all parents of baseball? I know you're not, Sylvie. Just relax. I'll get to you in a second. Like, I'm not because I'm single. You miss so much good shit. Let me write that up. You missed it! And now you guys are in the front row. Ha, <laughs> yeah, I like it. What? <laughs> What's going on with the show? Oh, they, 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 kind of, they, they, they kind of have a drum on the dark. Jay, you should have got more expensive speakers. I, uh, <laughs> get it? Get it. What do you do? What do you do for work besides being a baseball fan? You're an accountant. <laughs> I don't see it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Are you with them? Okay. You're like the boss? It looks like it. You're like, don't fuck with me. <laughs> you, got, you got nervous because I heard you bump something. Did you pay attention? Captain Tom? That's fun. What about you? What do you do? I'm a recruiter. Oh, okay. Uh, what do we recruit? Oh, I'm not doing this. Okay, thank you. You can email me the rest later because that sounds good for me. <laughs> Look at this lovely couple. You guys a couple? Oh my god, you're very cute. Did you meet on LinkedIn? What is happening over here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just your junk claw. Is that what you just said? I flock. Okay, that's the weirdest thing I've ever had in my entire life. I have flock. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite color is red. What is your in out order? <laughs> That's the best sound. You know what I mean? That's the best sound. Okay, what can I steal? Um, <laughs> I, uh, I'm celebrating, you know, it's funny, man. I'm celebrating today 15 years sober. Woo! Thank you. I don't want to pause or lose. I want cocaine. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, sweetie. She does, but I have to know. Shit. She doesn't come up with a fist. How long have you guys been together? Flaw. How long have you guys been together? <laughs> she hasn't sent me in months. Dude, are you in danger of playing pro? I got you coming. <laughs> we can take a night train with these two singles. Go with me here. Oh, slow down. It's 11 30 seconds till I ask him a question. I go over here and he goes, 17 years, I got it. Yeah, you, she was in charge, but I'm sorry. <laughs> She's like, I got the flaw. I got it. You should call him Flaunda this year. I think that's what I would do. You know what You know what my family got me for my uh, for my sobriety? They got me that 23 of me. Has anyone done it? Do it. Do you, you like it? I didn't really understand it. <laughs> Can you explain to her what definitely three of you is? Maybe you should ask yes, her. Come on, I, I, a degenerate eye. Well, you guys are fucked up shit. Right? <laughs> you do. Degenerate eye? I think I might be sure. You have to see a doctor, not tell me. <laughs> really? I didn't find that. I didn't go to that. I didn't go down that path. You did. But I found out some stuff, man. Like, I mean, you always thought my mom was Italian, but she's actually North African and Swedish, turns out, you know, and it turns out her own my father's side of the family is still a fucking asshole. So that's how that joke ends, you know what I mean? Man, what are you doing? You look nervous. Yeah, you, but you're frozen. No, you can, you can talk. You speak English. <laughs> Starting first, base, 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 base. Did you guys ever see? Did you guys ever see that baseball announcer who made uh, who made a derogatory comment? I think he called someone gay, or he did a homophobic comment but during the game, but he thought his mic wasn't on. Did you guys hear about this? And then remember, he had to apologize during the game. Like I said, came back with commercial, but he still like he was such a pro, he still called the game. 
He's like, I just want to apologize to everyone. Uh, I made this slur without far and inside. I put on those days. I didn't mean to call him gay. It is far! It is high! It is cut the track! I'll never do that again. You know, that was just an improv, so fuck you, okay? <laughs> I, in my head, went, I didn't know baseball because they're jargon. As I went in, I go, I don't know baseball jargon. So then I felt stupid. I to make real quick. Uh, my tears. <laughs> Should you guys just say, Ooh. You just do this game out of my hat. Do you do the single ones? That's, that's hot. Um, I just got engaged, so you know, whatever. Um, I got engaged. Don't worry about it. Things are idea. <laughs> well, we're uh, 19 years apart, so she's 73. <laughs> and I'm a well, She's actually 29. I'm oh, winning, right, bro? Woo! Because the parents are rich, too. <laughs> but I won't celebrate any of their money because they're four years older than me, so that's how that works. That <laughs> sucks, you know what I mean? We got to do a fight on the way over here. She's like, you, she's like, you and Darren, you just go through your midlife crisis. I'm like, babe, you are my midlife crisis. <laughs> she wants to, wants to buy a house. Where's director Quinn, John? Where's director John? There's a chair that says director John. Is that someone here? Is that, we don't know who that is. Yeah, director John. Like, I'm not, I don't, John Quinn. I want to because I don't, I can't do anything with this. I don't know why your eye is easy. Um, Swan doesn't speak. You're terrified. She not in the room, so I don't even know. What, what do you do besides scare me? What is this? Are you on the side by it? Like, uh, like, 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 It's like, that's my boy! No, no, no. Dad was not like that either. So she keeps sending me like these houses, so I had to check my FICO scores. You, 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 you guys all follow me the FICO score, right? You got the FICO score? Obviously. Right? You know how to keep count your money. Mine actually came back LOL. Anyone else out there? Great. Bro, where are you going, man? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> All well, homosexuals, please report outside. <laughs> All homosexuals, please go outside. <laughs> Sorry, that's not me. You guys can't be thinking about me anymore. What? Where did you get this set up? <laughs> At Ralph's? What is this? Do you hear the echo? Is that just me or am I having a stroke? Does anyone smell toast? Claude, you smell toast! I know you do, bro. I will save you, I promise. 17 years. I'm not fucking on this, you guys don't care. Um, sorry, guys, I have like a salon pause on. I threw up my back. I do have a salon block right here. Because I play very, I'm in my 40s, I play a very aggressive sport, you know. Um, this is a, this is a, this is a dialogue salon. <laughs> <laughs> Salon Pa, you know. Fuck it, let's do a TED talk about Salon Pa. So Salon Pa started back in, uh, what? Salon Pa. I don't know what you guys are talking about. I love when my sister comes to the show. It really fucks me up, you know what I mean? Salon Pa is, since you want to know, they're, they're heating pads for your muscles. I don't say it right, but I play a very aggressive sport for my 40s, you know, and Mario from General Hurts while reaching for an envelope. That's how you ruin the joke, and you fucking worried about how you pronounce long pause. <laughs> how do you pronounce long pause? You look like you know it. <laughs> you know that? Are you guys surprised? Yeah, you know that. You can be together a while. Yeah, because you don't even touch him. Um, <laughs> you can tell when people are like, you know, you get into bed with your girl, and like, you're like, you're fucking tub touching him. <laughs> <laughs> My girl's only like she's I'm a Jersey guy and she's like a Cal she's a California chick. And I don't know, man, it's weird because the fuck did you do? <laughs> <laughs> I, I left you for 
two seconds. I'm not going to salon positive, but I'll give you a big dish out. Who made the tri tip? His neighbor. Oh, is it? Who's good, man?
Yes, you do. Give a little. I'm sorry. This isn't break time, bro. <laughs> Christ, how high are you? He took the whole trip. Do some of those cookies to the Holy go, you know, I'm gonna get off. You know, Christ. Are there any questions? <laughs> yeah, so my girl were different, you know, like, um... She's always cold, man. I don't get it. Like, always fucking cold. And she's like, I know New Jersey, I was like, babe, this is what cold is in the East Coast. You drop your house keys in the snow, you're like, yeah, fuck it, I'll get a new house. I'll figure that shit out later. I'll find it to do him. <laughs> Who are you talking to, Christian? She left. Oh, she left. She left. Yes, she left. Yes. <laughs> she left. She left. I gotta go. And then she fucking ran. And I wish you all go upstairs. <laughs> She'll come in. Steven! You're in Steven? I'm asking who it was. What is it? Right. <laughs> go ahead. It's my job. Is that your phone? Yeah. Yeah. Did you got the Apple Watch? Yeah. Did they tell you that you need glasses to see it once you hit 40 miles? Oh, trust me. I gotta pull back. Fuck, now. it's stupid. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. I gotta pull back. <laughs> <laughs> don't get one. I don't know how to do it. It's like one thing. Are you on the dating app? There's one, right? No, no. Can, can we fix that? <laughs> I, um, I had a good time. I used to love going. I, I had the weird, because you know you have to go on these weird dates until you really find someone, right? Who's rich with family. But that's how you do it. Um, I went on a date with a girl once and she was like, yeah, like, like, bro, I just, this is what she said to me. I just want you to know you can treat me like one of the guys. She was like, one of your guy friends. I was like, that's the boss. I was like, fuck all my guy friends. <laughs> <laughs> First thing out of her mouth, she was like, Am I out of serious man? You're like someone skinnier than your picture. You're like a man of record. Dude, you, I love you so much. <laughs> I mean, without you, the timer goes off, Brian wakes up. The first word he hears, he says it. <laughs> I can't say. My punchline, you're that so much better than my punchline, so I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Oh man. I don't know, Dean. I was like into girls. I, I, I was into girls who had like tattoos. I don't know if you got a tattoo. Yeah. I think tattoos are getting out of hand, though. I think people are confusing tattoos with germs. <laughs> Journaling. It's funny. I know you are. We're not fighting. This is a comedy joke. It's okay. okay. You guys always, I, you know what I love about you? You question my setup, and then when I get to the punchline, it never lands. It's like, hold on, everybody wants to set up? This punchline better be good! It better fucking be good! Can you speak with the light? I no, you know what, fuck it, she interrupted me, I did two more hours, so... <laughs> We're working through it? Yeah! You guys are fucked, I really, I don't want to go home. I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> you have children? Yeah, two. You have the best mom ever, right? You've gotta be. My mother was not. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I was a latchkey kid, and my mom didn't have a job. You know what I mean? That's why we're comics! What is that? Oh, I got that. What is that? Do you know what I was thinking about, parents? It's like the same thing every time, and it's, a, it's like a universal reaction when you're like, oh, I think your parents have sex. Right? Like, oh. You never see a guy smoking cigarettes like, oh, I'm listening. Sometimes you need improv, guys. You gotta go along. It's called it. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. Oh, yeah, I wanna tell you though. You know who I ran into? I 
we're all older. I ran in, you ever run into like a celebrity crush on anyone? Who's your talking to? Who'd you run into? Steve Martin. Oh, how are you? I was too starstruck. That even I just froze. I was and so froze. Like, oh, I should don't come close to me. Yeah, I did. Uh, oh, you froze? I saw Demi Moore. I oh, okay, you made the face of the North. I don't know. I know, but she was nice to me. I was like, hey, Demi, can we take a photo? She stops me. She goes, um, it's pronounced Demi. I was like, oh my god, you're the only person that calls yourself that. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Jay. Keep it going for Jay. Keep it going for Guys, are your stomach muscles hurting as much as mine? Like, this is a special night. Let's just give a round of applause for all of us, like, getting out. Woo! countries on USO tours, his national headliner. Most importantly, he takes me with him and I open for him. So that's fun. Adam Richmond! Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you for that wild enthusiasm. I like how this crowd has dissipated. There was like 35 of you. Now there's 18. You're not even an audience, you're more like a jury. <laughs> Just judging. Keep it going for Jay Shore, for your other people. He's leaving. Come up. And for Cameron and Karen and Joey and the person that peed on the floor over here. It's all good. You guys are a weird bunch. I love that the best lighting is like right here. Is this good? Can you guys see me now? Is this ideal? And I like that you guys won't commit to the show. You're just standing. I'm going to stand. I'm not. No way I'm gonna sit down. I'm committed to this. So, you guys raise your money? Did you raise your money for the. Uh... Yeah. Yes. Is that what you were doing? Am I, am I wrong? You guys, that got very weird. You're like, what? Are we, are we raising money? This is, I thought this was a drug deal. I thought this was a drug deal. we were getting some drugs. I like baseball. You did. Y'all, so all your kids play in the same little league? Yeah. Woo! What's this? <laughs> Yeah, don't talk about it. Don't talk about Little League. And it's not my kid. It's not my kid. Okay, that's nice. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, the answer is yes. It's yeah. like the weirdest step, really. It's, the, it's, like, it's like Tron. Hello. 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 I like this building. This is a good spot. I hear it was kind of abandoned in COVID. Is that true? You guys just. Yeah, COVID ruined everything, right? I think uh, this is the first time, though, in our history where the human collective was all focused on the same thing. Everybody was aware of coronavirus. You could not know about it. Even African tribesmen, deep in the brush, and brought swarms up. <laughs> Where the mosques? <laughs> Buddhist monks in the deepest, darkest caves in the land were like, Namaste, home! <laughs> Just as a good start, so you can have some silent laughter in the back area over there. You guys on the side of the laps, people have to visit. Not a great comedy crowd, but an excellent dog whistle. Thank you. And they used to one clap in the back, they're like, give up the club. <laughs> uh, they recently discovered uh, coronavirus in sperm. First of all, where are they testing for that? And second of all, if I get sick, please take me to that hospital. You can't breathe, they're taking the cedar sun and it goes. Actually, if you could take me to see the general in Jasper, I hear the nurses do a great job. Okay, all right, slowly but surely, you guys are really good laughers. I'm ready. You're like, mm -hmm. 
I'm not gonna do it again. I've already peed, so don't have any more pain. Michael's making me laugh so hard, you pee in her pants. <laughs> Here's the thing also, when we go through another pandemic, stop going online and telling the world that you prepared for the worst. Have you seen this? People go on social media like Facebook, like, oh, I got extra emergency supplies, extra medical equipment, extra food. I'm like, great, great. Now, I know who to kill first <laughs> when the petty apocalypse arrives. What's that, Steve Jobs? 15 seconds to the point of the boulevard, you have a surplus of bottled water? Well, how about the dude fucking death squad six? Looks like we're headed to Van Nuys! Wolverine! <laughs> <laughs> I also have people in my life tell me what they wanted me to do with them in case of an untimely demise. My mother, for the first time, told me she wanted to be cremated. I'm like, well, that's awesome, Mom. And we can put you in a box with FedEx in Los Angeles. You finally come visit me after 20 years. <laughs> right? Maybe I'm Ash Wednesday from my mother on my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are Little League fans. Like, maybe for the big game, my nephew's a big athlete. After the big game, he grubs up a grandma and goes out. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend tells me a story about what she wanted to do. She also wanted to be cremated. She starts telling me about a story as she once went to to, uh, to Botswana in Africa. And she starts telling me about she went to the uh, the rainforest there and she saw like a good silverback gorillas come out at a certain time and the sun shines down on the prairie and makes a rainbow and they all come to the waterfall. And the whole time she's telling me this story, I'm like, that sounds like an amazing place. I mean, I don't want anything bad to happen, but you don't just casually go to Africa, you know what I mean? I should probably call a travel agent. Let me take your temperature. Right, cut to me riding a rhinoceros through the jungle with a silverback gorilla on my shoulder, me throwing her ashes in the wind, like, I need to go! Scotty, The truth is, we're scared of death, and it's inevitable. It's coming. We should stop scaring it. Stop being scared about it, you know? We should have a business. Like, we create business called, like, We Put the Fun in Funerals. <laughs> we're celebrating with the same enthusiasm the World Wrestling Federation. You're going six feet thunder. <laughs> right? Maybe Grandpa wants to get shot out of a cannon. Great. Looks like we're all taking a Caribbean cruise, right? We all meet on the Acapulco deck at sundown. You know, watch Grandpa get shot in the ocean. We love you, Grandpa! Boo! All right, let's play some for Well, when you guys stop, you stop together, don't you? I like how you laugh, sir. You're a good laugh forever. You laugh like a black woman, which is awesome. Because black women laugh like they're stabbing each other. The whole it's like a violent experience. Oh, wait, what happened to Keithy? Oh, we're at the comedy club. She's in critical condition. You guys are way too comfortable for a comedy show right here, honestly. You're like they're all like a Statler and Waldorf couples over in the corner just ready to sleep. Look at this guy, just ready for a hand drop that would be false. Just don't look at the eyes, honey, just don't look at the eyes for a comedy show. This is weird, I've never performed behind the audience before. Let's play a game called Penis or Microphone. Are you ready? Let's do this. What do you think it is? I'm going to go with penis. You guys know my penis made that sound? You guys are just taking my penis. I love that little microphone that's out of my penis. You know, I never leave my place. You look like you're yawning right there. You alright? You do This is good. You guys are lucky you guys get to leave after the show. I can hang out with myself all the fucking time. Is something on fire besides this guy? <laughs> I'm gonna get you at some point. We're gonna end. Besides the P joke, you're gonna be here. You guys like living in LA? You like LA? Well, wonderful place, right? Besides the taxes and the crime and the government and politics, it's an amazing place, right? Besides all those terrible things, uh, it's pretty amazing, right, sir? Right, black lady? <laughs> uh, the sun, I love the weather. The sun is relentless in Los Angeles, right? Every day the sun's like, hey! Sun makes it stupid in Southern California. People walk in LA like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> go to Orange County, like, duh, 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 duh. <laughs> go to San Diego, like, duh, duh, duh. <laughs> you didn't even further stuff than that, they didn't even speak English. Uh. <laughs> it's a G 
geography joke. It's a geography joke. It's okay. I know it's just it's another country. Oh, he said something that was factual. <laughs> Can you believe this guy and his accuracy? What a son of a bitch. I don't know when the last time I was like, <laughs> You can't laugh that broke, you know what I mean? You can't laugh aside halfway through the ah! oh. I enjoyed that joke because the scientists conditioned me a feminine that was second, and I need a safe space. I need a safe space free from thoughts and words and ideas that are dumb. We all need to take with your safe space. It's comedy night, guys. Not take shit seriously, even. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> One person, but she's wearing a Led Zeppelin shirt, so she's fucking cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, I like I like this flowery outfit, too, you know what I mean? I get this pin on my wall. <laughs> I'm jealous of you ladies in California too. With what you get to wear when the weather gets nice, it's like zero fabric. It's like, what are you wearing? A bunch of napkin covering my right nipple? And this string, this is my whole outfit. But then it reveals the tattoos. Like, can you slow down with the tattoos? What's with this writing on the sides of your bodies? What is this mess you're full of? Oh, nothing hurt again. I'm gonna shorten this period. One thing, don't forget to not to tell me that my love is strong and it would be fucking better than looking at it. Serenity. Guys, watch cool. You're seeing guys tattoos like, pride, death, freedom, destruction. And then there's all the NBA basketball players, all the Bible basketball players, and then Moses was still upon Esau, the pump of the family, and God for a supreme being down upon the chosen people. That doesn't make sense. They took the whole with souls, the fast old rocks, and done two points, Clippers, a bunch of love. I don't want to tattoo though, guys. If I ever did, it's six words above my heart that says, I am not an organ donor. It's common. What happened to you? What's happened? <laughs> They're just jokes, do you know what I mean? No one's getting hurt in these jokes. I know you weren't just that way. I just, I, I just call you out. It's just that like you're all together. This is what happens when you're groups that know each other. Sometimes you're worried about laughing together at certain things. It's like, I tell a blowjob joke and she laughs. Oh my god, do you hear that Stacy loves blowjobs? What the fuck? <laughs> Can you believe that? She was cackling. You know, her son plays shortstop. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Sir, yes? My son is a shortstop and I love blowjobs. <laughs> Oh, that's not what he meant. Oh, okay, you can sit down, dude. He also said he likes blowjobs. Come on, sir. Come on, Let's do this. Oh, well, whatever. We can do it together. Everyone can watch, but let's play the game. It's called penis or microphone. Penis or microphone. No, 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 no. I've seen his balls. They smell like beer and cheese and broken dreams. I've never seen anyone heckle their husband before. Hey, look at this fucking guy with snowy balls. Can you believe it? Give it a This isn't even a heckle, just like a discussion of this. I live in uh, West Hollywood, it's pretty gay. Where's gay? Can't talk about that, you know, but you don't get too much trouble. Because uh, everyone who celebrates uh, Gay Pride Month and in West Hollywood, I got news, it's Gay Pride Month every month. <laughs> Let me tell you guys, these guys are proud. Like, oh my god, I'm so proud. Last night I sucked like six or seven dicks in the dance floor of rage. I've never been more proud of myself in my life. I think I got some pride left over right here in my face. Oh my god, I licked this guy's balls in the bathroom of a generator. I licked his balls in the bottom of the nut sack at the top of his head. I was like, love is balls! Love is balls! Love is monkey pox! Yeah, groan all you want. I just want to say, ladies, if you were doing the same things that these gay guys in West Hollywood were doing on a regular basis, you would be slut shamed till the end of eternity. <laughs> love is love! It's okay, dude. You're only gay if you fuck that. <laughs> Jay's like, too late for me, too late for me. <laughs> Spend some time in prison. <laughs> okay, I'll do some clean little fairy tale jokes. <laughs> so I take those jokes for you. Yeah, all right, here we go. Ready, guys? Here we go. Hey, anyone here have ants? <laughs> Just me and my shitty apartment. Not my hands and arms. You guys can walk them along. You guys can walk them along with a cocky little line. And it bothers me because I'm not violent, right? So I don't want to kill them. So what I decide to do is kill a few, send a message to the rest. Because you buy an ant trap, that's all poison, right? They bring that poison back to the nest. They all eat that, they all die. 
I didn't live out of my conscience. I didn't annihilate the bleak colony of ants of fear of repercussion on my global footprint. I am not God! <laughs> More like the Godfather, you know, strength or fear, the hearts and family. Kill a few, send a message to the rest. <laughs> so hopefully one of the ants runs back to that thing. <laughs> Do not go out there! There's this massive giant, he's plugging us off one by one. Chuck, Ned, Larry, they're all dead. And I'm still hungry. <laughs> guys got nothing to eat out there. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> Because I carry shit! <laughs> I'm already waiting for this guy there. I'm not saying Get nothing, get nothing. And I walk outside, and I walk outside directly into a spider web. You're like, what the fuck is this? What the fuck? It's my spider web. What the fuck? It's better than I could. What the fuck? Spider web's on you for like six weeks. <laughs> Like, to me, spiders are like the worst land developers. <laughs> right? Spiders are like, okay, guys. Okay, guys, what are we going to do? We're going to build our home right in the middle of this doorway here. <laughs> Which is perfect, right? Nobody ever comes through there. <laughs> then we'll have a secondary home, like a cottage. <laughs> and we'll build it on the side of your mirror <laughs> and the car door. Which is ideal because it remains stationary during every season. In fact, we only build our home inside of doors, front doors, back doors, garage doors. In fact, we're only listening to the band the doors. <laughs> Spiders only know. <laughs> <laughs> Cause I don't like the power, guys. I don't like it. Every time I walk through a spider web, I feel like I'm Godzilla trouncing a small Japanese village. Like, <laughs> I always feel like the spiders are nearby, watching the devastation, going, No! That was my home! We just put an addition on the back deck. <laughs> it's okay. We can rebuild. <laughs> <laughs> Still working too hard for you guys. Still working too hard. You guys know I can see you, right? Because. I know, thank you. It's fucking good. But she's four years old. I didn't make you do that, though. They had to work fucking hard. What should I tell jokes about that? Dogs? How about dogs? Do you like dogs? That seems to be common throughout candy lanes. I don't like dogs. Do you guys like anything? <laughs> I love dogs. Surprises can happen. I don't know what I need it. But I got my power. Hello. Oh, no, hello. It says hello to me, just hello. Isn't it great having a camp with an echo? It's perfect for comedy, comedy, comedy. I get extra laughs, laughs, laughs. I'm actually retarded. I don't know if you guys know this. And don't be upset with that word, guys. Retarded, it's a great word. It means I was once tarted, lost my tart, yelled it again, and became retarded. <laughs> I wish dogs get each other's phone numbers. Wouldn't that be nice? If we go to a dog park with your dog, you don't really get along with the owners, the dogs don't like each other. Wouldn't that be nice if we exchange each other's digits? It's like, hey man, you really like the smell of your ass. Oh, that's awesome, dude. Give me a call. <laughs> it's Wolf Park, Arf, Wolf, Wolf, Barf, Wolf, Barf, Wolf, Barf. <laughs> Thanks, man. Check out my website. It's peeonemerything.com. <laughs> and a dog is supposed to have a sense of smell that's 10,000 times stronger than human beings. How come they're not constantly walking around going, <laughs> Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> no, it's not just hovering above a pile of shit on the ground going, <laughs> Oh my god, that is good, that is good. good. That's not good. Come on, Gary, you gotta come try the shit. Come on, Gary, you gotta try the shit. That would be like, I rescued a dog. I rescued a dog. Uh, you didn't rescue a dog, you picked a dog out. Okay? In order to rescue the dog, that dog has to be like floating on a log, down a river, towards a waterfall. <laughs> Just about to roll, last possible second, you grab a vine, you swim across, like, ROVER! And you grab that dog and you place it gently on the other side of the stream, you rescue the dog. <laughs> Alright, maybe some sort of burning building situation, you go inside, you take the dog in your arms, you cradle it, you crash through the window, you tuck the rope, and send that dog back to its owner. You rescue the dog. You can't just walk into the pound and be like, I'll take that one. I'm a hero. I'm a 
a hero. I'm a hero. High five my shadow. <laughs> and West Hollywood, forget about dogs. I was walking around my neighborhood, this guy walks around with his pet pig. No, fuck you, hipsters. Fuck you and your pet pig, okay? Here's the rule of thumb, guys. You are not allowed to have a pet that you might eat if shit goes down. And I'm not talking like it's apocalypse where I'm filming after your pig. I'm talking like, it's really late at night. <laughs> You're pretty stoned on your couch. <laughs> Everything is closed. All of a sudden, you look across the room, and Porky's looking kind of delicious. Because <laughs> you wouldn't eat your pet dog. Sorry to send the Asian people into that, but you wouldn't eat your pet dog. <laughs> that guy's like, I would, I would. <laughs> Come here, Brad Phillips. Brad I was like, yes. <laughs> yeah, you see, you got mad at that joke. There was a lady in my show recently, she got mad at that joke. She was just steaming in the front row, just like, you know, what's the problem? She's like, you're doing all these Asian stereotypes, like Ching Chang Chong. <laughs> like, Ching Chang Chong, I didn't say that, you said that. You still like the racist. Yeah, I got the show back, it was fine. I got the, then later I saw her after the show, what's the problem? Is it not true that in some Asian countries they're known to eat dogs? She's like, so what if we eat dogs? And then storms away. <laughs> so basically, she interrupted my show to be mad, only to admit afterwards that it's true that in some Asian countries they eat dogs. Well, how about this? If you're going to be mad at me for saying it while you're doing it, then how about this? What 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 about this? Stop eating dogs. <laughs> That's a good solution. I have a dog. He's adorable. Maybe he's delicious. I'm not going to try. All right. So no more porky yorky. No more kung pao schnauzer. No more chicken fried doberman. In some Asian countries, dog walking is frying up a dog in a walk. <laughs> These are all great jokes, I just want to know, all right? And the way to treat people equally is to make fun of everybody, okay? It's always white people, oh no, you can't do that, oh, you can't make fun of the Asian people. <laughs> I like when you ladies laugh, because your boots kind of shit, it's nice. It's like a whole show for me, you know what I mean? <laughs> what, I like boots, am I the only guy that like boots, fellas? Yeah. Thank you, my dude, thank you, dude. That's why I'm here, man. That's just got moving up here. Squeeze a little up. Well, we all like boobs. Let's be honest. We're all born within five minutes. They shove a boob in our face. You think, uh, you think girls like balls as much as guys like boobs? No. Who is quick? You said that quick? Well, maybe that's why you're alone tonight, honey. You think about that. Oh, uh, where's the. Oh, uh, well, that's why you're sitting that far away. Just like balls. I ain't going near this. Fuck this. It's going to be Led Zeppelin. But I agree with you, there's no way girls like balls unless guys like boobs. Because you never hear a girl tell a story like, oh my god, the other night I had the greatest pair of balls. <laughs> I just had to have one like, bruh, 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 bruh. By the way, she dogs protest too much. You cut to her an hour, it's like, I'm not a I got a special guy in my balls, guys. A special boob. It's called the Roman Soldier Helmet. You guys know what that is? Now, you might not know my name, but you know my practice, guys. Now, the Roman Soldier Helmet is where you take your testicles and rest each one on the sockets of your eyes. <laughs> and then you put your shaft down your nose, kind of like a Roman Soldier <laughs> And then she's like, Spartans! Tonight, we die! I like that joke too, but I'm not a fisher, right? Because there's a big penis on my head. And I can be more realistic with you guys. I'm a Jewish guy, my penis is not that big. So I'm more honest about the joke, it's more like this Spartan. 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 Spartan.
<laughs> so the black guys never really the Sometimes those black guys, I mean, not here in this charity, but the black guys never really the last part of that joke. So I gotta do the black version of that joke, which is this. <laughs> Alright, who's getting to exploit this? Another joke is better than the joke is better. Truth is, I haven't had sex in so long, I'm actually starting to have wet dreams about me masturbating. Oh, she finally laughed at that one. Like, oh my god, how do you know me so well? It's like you know my letters and read each one out loud. A vibrator? I've never had one of them. <laughs> and if I had a nickel for every fat chick I've been with, I'd have a dollar forty-five. Oh, fuck you guys, that's my favorite joke. Because every guy's doing math and they're not, holy shit. That's a lot of fat chicks. And these guys are like, 29! They had a table slap from there and there was in his joke. That guy moved back to his wife. Okay, I'll give it a woman. Did we have a good time tonight, guys? Can we have a good time? Take like a couple more minutes. Can we do it for the next few minutes? You guys can come take work. Somebody looks like a trapped in comedy prison. I won't one point them out, but I'll just stand in the vicinity of the people that were joining and decide how we're going to get them. I did like them, that he's dead retarded. I treat all people equally. I recently did a show for an older Indian couple that didn't subscribe to the philosophy YOLO. You know, you only live once. <laughs> they were like, you only live multiple times. <laughs> We live in Los Angeles where we're going to cancel nets and always canceling things. What's that? I know. It's really, you know they want to cancel Mr. Potato Head. Yeah. Why do they want to cancel Mr. Potato Head? For choosing a gender. Guys, Mr. Potato Head was the first toy where you could remove every part of its body and put it anywhere else on his body. This is the original transgender doll. <laughs> I used to take his lips off his mouth and put it between his legs and call him Mr. Cocklips. Is that better? <laughs> hey, it's Mr. Cocklips! Mr. Cocklips! <laughs> They wanted to cancel Scarlett Johansson. She was going to play a transgender character in a movie about the transgender community. We're all up in vaginas. Oh, the fact that a non transgender person was going to play a transgender role. Oh, so what are you upset with now, Hollywood? That an actress was going to act like something she's not? Well, stop the fucking presses. Because I was going to see the new Mission Impossible movie with Tom Cruise to look at the top. It's not a real spot. <laughs> Next, you can tell me that Harry Potter is not a real wizard. And Thor is not the true god of thunder. What? Khaleesi from Game of Thrones wasn't a real mother of dragons? But I remember that scene where she was breastfeeding the dragon. Oh my god, my nipple! <laughs> Jay and I have a favorite show that I haven't canceled yet. You guys, have you seen the show Winning Time on HBO? Anybody? No, this joke's just for you and me, Jay. This is great. It's just for you and I, right? so you better fucking laugh. Yeah, that's all. Nobody knows the show when it's on HBO about the story of the Los Angeles Lakers yeah. in the early 80s yeah. yeah. about the, the rise and fall of the glory, like there's characters in it that are actual, like Magic Johnson character, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar character, all the people they all represent. I was telling my friend about it, he's like, well, 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 does, does Magic Johnson have AIDS? I like, no, 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 no
That's why I say this to ladies. I would indulge in a healthy portion of pussy ever since you've been tall enough to look one in the eye. So at some point, I'm just figure out what you're doing down there, okay? But then sometimes things you start, well, I have a pussy, so I know what feels better. Well, guess what? I have a dick. That doesn't mean I give a better blowjob. In fact, whatever I had to give a blowjob would be something like this. <laughs>